Welcome back, everyone. Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for being here today to this new episode of Music with Nick. We got an amazing marathon lined up by Greybeard. Thank you so much, Eric, for this awesome marathon. There's a lot of um, bands that I do recognize. Well, artists. Um, and uh, I can't wait. But it's straightforward rock, hard rock music. So we're in for a treat here. So there's no real guide uh, how we're going to do this. I'm just going to start um, and then we're going to talk about the music. I'm going to add something at the end. Uh, I know that Greybeard is a big fan of Deep Purple. So I'll choose a song by Deep Purple at the end just to give it, you know, uh, a Warner seal of approval. And that way we don't get into trouble. But again, thank you so much, Greybeard, for sponsoring this marathon. I do appreciate it very, very much. And let's get rocking. Here we go. So the first one, obviously, I love a Joe Walsh. Like, I think he's one of the best, um, you know, guitar players of the 70s. Just very original, very, I don't know, like even when you listen to the Eagles before and then when he joined the Eagles, it got heavier. It got a little bit more creative. I just love that guy. Um, uh, the stuff that I've heard from, um, I think it was called... Um, something gang or something i i have to look it up but um yeah so we're gonna start with joe walsh mother says and this is from barnes uh barnstorm um from 1972 i wanted to apologize real quick because of my voice i feel way way better it's just like that i'm kind of like congested he um full of like i don't know I've been taking some pills, so I should feel better. But I, I do apologize because of my my voice, the nasally uh, voice. But okay, here we go with Mother Says, and let's go. Mother says be careful and don't stay out too long. Don't do things you shouldn't. Miss me when I'm gone. Really cool break here, like...
I once had a zoom pedal that would do this. So cool. Let's keep it running. There's another 15 seconds. Let's see if there's something. There you go. No, I really love his style. I love his singing, you know, the voice. It's not your usual, you know, I don't know. He's just being very original. I love the bass. I love the, the chords. I just love, like, and I just read it. It's James Gang. I just love the, I guess it's the, it is kind of like, um, not heavy in a way like, like that heavy, but it, it had like, it was a ballsy sound, you know? And I also loved his um uh tenor with um with the Eagles because and especially like in in Hotel California and that solo. Um what <laughs> word he's like jumping around. Um he was like because as you guys know the solo is like two players, right? It's split into two. So it starts off and um, he was like, Oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, listen to this, you know, and then he added his part to the solo. And I think that's why that solo is also so epic, because it's almost like a like a call and response, you know, like so it's like they were like literally like challenging each other. And, you know, in that in that solo and in their careers, you know, as, you know, uh, musicians. And I think that always brings out the best in the music because my God, Marty's just looking at the door. Um, a lot of like bands like with dual guitars, like Judas Priest, and you know, um, I think yeah, Thin Lizzy, Iron Maiden, and stuff like that. They just like they're like, hey, let's see what you got, you know, and then 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 you'll see what I got, and, and I think it's a good way of elevating, you know, the production and the all overall creativity. You know, of the solos, of the language, of the phrasing, of everything that's going on. All right. Th this was an awesome song. So now we have, next up, we have Tet Nugent. And this is called Stranglehold. Stranglehold, it does sound familiar, but this one's it's 8 minutes and 23 seconds. No way I've heard this. I think I might have heard it maybe in a movie or something because it does it does sound very familiar but the whole thing nah i don't think so so let's give it up for ted nugent i would have i know that it's nugent but i would have said nugent <laughs> nugent if i would know that it's nugent i would have said nugent but um no all right here we go stranglehold and i'm going to look up Oh, okay, wait. So it says, can play current song. Sometimes uh, um, Spotify crashes, but in the meantime, we're going to look up where this song appears. Like, why do I know the name of this? Song movie. The top uses of Tat Nugent's stranglehold in movies. I knew this was a thing. Um, let's see. I'm I, I am on IMDb checking. There's a lot of iconic songs out there, and Stranglehold belongs among their numbers. Released in 1975 by Tat Nugent, the song doesn't even feature him on lyrics to begin with. The guy singing for the majority of the song was Derek St. Holmes. Nugent even admitted that the guy that helped to co-write the song didn't get a credit for the work didn't get credit for the work he did. It, that seems awfully sketchy, but considering it's so far in the past now, it's something that you can cluck your tongue at but do nothing else about. The song itself isn't 
all that powerful but and then why is there no 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 more information this is a weird article um let's see <laughs> okay so it's in pain and gain michael bay Dazed and confused. I think that's why I heard it. Dazed and confused. I think I I did. I don't know if I had the album. Beer for my horses. Rockstar. Okay. I think I maybe I heard it in Rockstar, but yeah. Invincible. So yeah, I think that's why I know. Like, I've seen this title. You know. Okay, let's go. Um. Enough blabbering around. Here we go. Stranglehold. Yeah. But that's pretty much all I know. That intro. And that's it. the intro that like and then that this part is and it's crazy that it's literally just one chord it's just one chord and then the bottom bottom that's it you know very simple but very effective and great soloing i mean it must be a blast to you just to like improvise over this because sometimes with a you know um uh with a vamp like this you can re like do a lot of stuff you know really crazy improvisation over just one chord and especially since it, it's opening up you know a little bit this you know that those little chords there you know really cool really cool song but yeah i think i've heard that that bass part i think in rockstar i saw it a few times i think when they're all like super wasted and partying and then they're kind of like in and out of reality i think this is when that is playing i think so but i've never heard um the, the full eight minutes which is really cool that i'm um can react to this now thank you again graybeard so here we go <laughs>
got to go Such a great song. Um, it says here now. This is obviously I always consider this stuff a little bit out of date. Um, it says um, in 2005, Ted Nugent was ranked number 587 in Rock Hard Magazine's book, The 500 Greatest Rock and Rock and Metal Albums of All Time. Stranglehold has been ranked 31st greatest guitar solo of all time. That is. <clears throat> I love the solo. It, it's amazing. But I think they should update this kind of stuff. Like, there's solos that I've heard that I can't even believe that there's solos, you know? Like, just the solo that we listened to the other day by Dream Theater um, in that song. Um, uh, what is it? What was it? I have it right here. Like, if you listen to that solo, it's like, how is this even possible? How is anyone playing like this so that's why i think stuff should get updated with like newer artists you know not that this solo this solo was fantastic that scale um but um where is this i think i didn't save the song because it was just a video but uh, the last dream theater um video that we did together, Alexia and I. All right. Okay. So let's keep going. Um, and now we're going to listen to some um, Eddie Money. Two Tickets to Paradise. Eddie Money, <clears throat> 1977. All right. I'm not heard of any. No, it's not money. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it is. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's Eddie Money. Okay. Here we go, and boom.
heard that before. That da da do pick two tickets to paradise. Give me a second. Uh, this must be in a movie as well. Let's see. Oh, okay, there's a movie about no 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 no. That's not. There is two movies. Um Wow, I've heard this before somewhere now. There's this stupid like love um No. Um I've definitely heard the chorus before, but I don't know. Never knew the the, the artist, but I'm 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 sure I've heard this before, the the chorus here. Let's keep going. <laughs> So I found out. Okay, so this was played in a video game, and I'm sure even Greybeard might have know uh, might know this. It's just a very popular game that you know. It's like it's came. It, it, it's an older one. It's like 2004. Wow. Um, and th basically, you're in this fictional world, open world, and every time you jump into your car. The radio goes on, you know, and like you have like these, all this news, and then music comes on. There's a rock station, metal station, jazz, and and I think I, that's why I heard it the first time, but never really like the the entire song. San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto. I, for you gamers out there, you must know. Um, all right, this was really good, really really catchy, and all right, so um. So this is pretty much, this would be the last song that Greybeard chose. Billy Squire, of course, I know Billy Squire. Lonely is the Night, Don't Say No is the album from 1981. Billy Squire is a artist that I, I guess, pretty much discovered because of the similarity to um, Robert Plant. A lot of people were saying that he sounded too much like Robert Plant. I don't think so. I mean, I've... I'll, I've listened enough, I guess, you know, that I say he holds his own. And um, so here, this is Lonely is the Night. Let's check it out. And then we're going to play some Deep Purple. 
So yes, honestly, he does sound a lot like Robert Plant, like literally the same. I wouldn't even, if I would know that this is, you know, Billy Squire, I would think it's Led Zeppelin because of the voice. That's just the voice that God gave him. He can't do anything about that. But also the music is very, the drums and the whole thing. It sounds like Led Zeppelin. Let's be honest. Who are we kidding? But that's another thing with uh, a band that I love, you know, um, Greta Van Fleet, they sound literally like Led Zeppelin, but hey, thank God, you know, they're kids in their, you know, in their 20s, or I think they're even, I don't know if they're still like 19, 18, 19, 20, but I mean, they are, you know, at least they're doing something that's good, you know, instead of like all this crappy music that people are playing, you know, they're at least trying to do something, and yes, m maybe it's a copy, maybe it's a copy, but I rather copy, you know, Led Zeppelin or Iron Maiden. I mean, obviously, I would want to come up with my own sound, but hey, I mean, it's better than what we have, you know. So yeah, I can see the criticism. It even is in the um, description here uh, in Spotify that they would call him like a carbon copy, but you know, I think it sounds really damn good, you know, and yeah. I guess I'm. Th that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you know, I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, and I'm a huge, huge Led Zeppelin fan. I mean, I know every. That's the only band that I know everything of. Um. Since I even before I met Alexia, you know, so I've heard everything by Led Zeppelin. And I love them, and um, but yeah. So here we go. Let's continue. <laughs> Hear the voices call I'm ready for a fight 
All right. All right. All right. All right. So I've decided to um, go with Deep Purple, but I just did um, Into the Fire as an extra song, and that worked perfectly. I was going to do Perfect Strangers, but I I don't know if I've already done that before. I So I'd rather do Speed King from the same album. Deep Purple and Rock, 1970. Let's go. I think that's that's going to be good. Here we go. And I, I think I've never heard it. I think, like, I've heard, like, Ingwie Malmsteen talk about it, that he learned it and that he got inspired to play, like, Richie Blackmore, but... Let's give it a shot. Let's let's go. All right. Boom.
Very good. So good. All right. There we have it. And I, I'm surprised. I, 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 it's, we're still, you know, a little bit on the short side. Maybe I didn't interrupt, you know, maybe I didn't talk that much. I do. I guess I, I didn't talk as much because of my voice, you know, because it also sounds horrible, but, um, I'm surprised. I mean, we're at the good time. I'm sure that the marathon is going to get more views because it is shorter and especially with, you know, stranglehold and two tickets to paradise. I read about these songs right now and they're like so famous. And then, I mean, that mother says was amazing and lonely is the night as well. And then I love that we could add this. I don't know if it's, I could call it a deep cut. You know, I've never heard this deep purple song. Nobody has ever asked for it. So I'm happy to add it to this marathon because I know how much Greybeard loves Deep Purple. That was like the band that made him into a musician, you know, pick pick up the drums, you know. So just because of that, it's perfect. Um, because there's some other Warner bro Brothers um, bands that we could have used, but I think, you know, he's a real fan. So I, I think that that was a good idea. But hey... This was awesome. Thank you so, so much again, Eric, for this amazing display of like classic rock, you know, and um, definitely going to listen to Stranglehold again right now. And then even I could do my own little take, you know, um, um, you know, download the I'm sure there's like millions of backing tracks of this song. And, you know, add a little over it and upload it, you know. And it's going to get copyrighted because um, because of the backing track. But, hey, you know, a little fun and a little crazy, you know, lines to it and, and stuff like that. But thank you again so much. Thank you, Eric, for sponsoring the marathon. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you like the video, please do give it a, uh, a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video... Give it a thumbs down, whatever makes you happy. Um, like I said, if you like, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. I've have, I've mentioned it. I, I do mention it now in all, almost every video that like 90% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those uh, wonderful people, please do subscribe. It does help us out tremendously to get a co like correct number in like subs. And it does help us out, you know. But uh, it's your decision, you know. And uh, but yeah, thank you again so, so much. Thank you, Eric, once more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.